Hello, welcome to the Getting Started series for AWS Deadline Cloud, a fully managed service that makes it easy for you to build a cloud-based render farm in minutes. My name is Stephanie Holden, and I'm a go-to-market specialist here at Amazon Web Services. And I'm Andy Hayes. I'm a solutions architect at AWS. Deadline Cloud is designed to be flexible for our customers. One of the ways we designed that flexibility was by creating two different fleet types, service managed fleets and customer managed fleets. In this video, we'll cover both kinds of fleets in Deadline Cloud. To understand what a fleet is, let's back up to the key resources involved. Deadline Cloud farms are collections of queues and fleets. The queues are collections of the jobs of work to be done, and the fleets are collections of workers that do that work. When those workers are on AWS, they're most likely using our Elastic Compute Cloud Service, or EC2 for short. Deadline Cloud gives you options for both service-managed fleets and customer-managed fleets, where you can bring your own compute from on-prem or AWS. We'll touch on the setup, use, and maintenance for each fleet type, and we'll show you the cost benefits of Elastic Rendering with Deadline Cloud on AWS, where you only pay for the resources you use while rendering. We'll start with service-managed fleets. This is the simplest option for getting started with Deadline Cloud. With service-managed fleets, AWS takes care of the heavy lifting, auto-scaling, deploying, and managing the fleet instances for you based on your rendering needs. And the best part? When you're not rendering, you're not paying. AWS dynamically spins down your resources, so you only pay for the compute time you actually use. There's no need to provision a database or a render scheduler that you'll pay for even when you're not rendering. Now let's move on to customer-managed fleets. This option is ideal for customers who want more control over their rendering infrastructure as you can customize and tune the fleet to your specific needs. With customer managed fleets on AWS, you manage your own EC2 instances and other AWS resources dedicated to rendering, and you have complete control over and complete responsibility for the instances, networking, and software involved in rendering. Deadline Cloud will send you scaling signals that you can use to drive the size of your render fleet according to the jobs you're sending it in the same way that Deadline Cloud scales its own service managed fleets. Get the same elastic scaling capabilities of service managed fleets with the full control of customer managed fleets. And if you have on-premises infrastructure, you can leverage your existing hardware and resources whilst taking advantage of some of the best parts of Deadline Cloud. You get powerful scheduling, job management, and fast artist onboarding, all coupled with the visibility, security, and automation that Deadline Cloud provides. Either way, Deadline Cloud provides a unified interface for managing your rendering jobs, monitoring progress, accessing logs, and visualizations. Whether you're looking for a fully managed solution with service managed fleets or more control with customer managed fleets, Deadline Cloud has an option that can help you streamline your rendering workflows and save on costs. And remember, with Deadline Cloud's pay-as-you-go model and service managed fleets, you only pay for resources you consume during rendering. It's a great opportunity to experience the power of cloud rendering and at the same time improve cost planning, visibility, and control. Yeah, well said, Stephanie. Thank you for all joining us today. Be sure to check out the other videos in the Getting Started series. Have fun getting to know AWS Deadline Cloud. We're excited to see what you can create.